Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I am back with another review. And today we're taking a look at, from the Transformers Cyberverse, Bumblebee Cyberverse Adventures line. This is Deluxe Class Starscream. Now this is, as always, should not get confused with the Warrior Class. This is the fully articulated, full transforming line of figures from Cyberverse. And this is Starscream in his um, Cybertronian jet mode, which is really, I think, the only jet mode he had. As you can see, uh, Starscream comes with three blast effects. Two blast effects for the null rays and a um, uh, three, pro uh, a, I guess, three-tiered missile spam kind of effect that looks really cool. And let me tell you, these effects, they really make uh, the figure pop. Uh, got this figure off of eBay, but apparently they are showing up in brick and mortar retail as well as online retail. So uh, I know they, they're available at Big Bad Toy Store, so you can get them there. These kind of showed up out of the blue uh, online uh, right before Christmas. So no, no announcement, but that's a lot. That's, I shouldn't say a lot, but par for the course for how Hasbro usually handles uh, the Cyberverse line. So let me just go ahead and remove these blast effects so we can get a clearer look at the jet. I do want to mention that the null rays, for whatever reason, these little blast pieces have some sort of natural curvature to them. Uh, this is not from warping in the packaging um, because this is like a solid piece of plastic, not the like the blast effects you get um, with the Siege Battle Masters. Um, so that curve is intentional but here's the jet i really think this is as close to the animation model we can get at this size at this price point uh there's the peg right there if you want to peg those missiles in for uh vehicle mode and yeah i mean the robot kibble i would say hide pretty well i mean the arms are right there but uh transformation is kind of interesting so let's get to that right now Okay, I've gone ahead, given myself a little extra space on um, the show of the work. Uh, the first thing what I would suggest is go ahead and pop out the null rays. You can do the transformation with them on. I would just say this might make it a little bit easier. So go ahead, do that. Move these off to the side. Come around the top here. I'm going to fold this gray section all the way out. And then keep folding, bringing the blue section, which is the robot's feet, down and around just like that. Uh, turn the robot over and then you're going to angle up the whole wing section including the arms here because uh, there are tabs that go into the legs. This will then free up the legs and allow you to bring them up. The first thing you want to do is bring them up at the knee and then straighten them up further at the hip. Um, at this point, you can rotate it around at the waist, just like so. Um, the next step, I would say, is to bring back the uh, cockpit. That way, now what you're going to do is, on this whole lower waist section, there's a hinge, and that's going to bring it down. Make sure you bend it at that hinge, not at the waist. And we'll exploit, go over that again when going back into jet mode. Uh, separate the legs and what we'll do now is come in here you'll fold up that flat gray section and then bring this um, thinner piece around and that will just sit on the curve of where that orange hinge is forming the heel and the back of the foot uh, next what you can do is we're going to start working on transforming uh, the uh, torso so bring this uh, canopy section up and I, I do want to mention at this point that even though it's all ball joints the joints are very tight so make sure you're actually moving the joint you want to and not a secondary joint just because of the tightness bring down the nose cone open the cockpit continue to bring the nose cone down and at this and really make sure at the same time uh it's bringing up that orange platform that the head is on close up the canopy 
And then what you're going to do is sandwich the head, the, that whole torso section, up and down into the cat, the cavity there in the chest. And as you do that, you'll be rotating this orange tab right there, which should line up and that the nose cone should snap into place. And then just make sure that the head on that uh, orange platform is secured. Uh, next, what you wanna do is unpeg the arms. They tab in to um, a section right behind the wings. And what you'll do now is you'll go ahead and then fold out the wing section like so that the wings are now facing forward. Uh, and then you're going to fold that whole uh, uh, shoulder hinge connection, that blue platform back and will peg into place. And you'll then be able to peg those two fins together. If you do not have the uh, nose cone pegged in properly, that will not work well. You can then rotate uh, the uh, forearms forward, bend the arms, and there you go. If you want to adjust the wings, they are on a little faux ratchet, so you can bend them back. Let's uh, go ahead and reattach our null rays right here. Um, like I said, the joints are a little tight, um, and there's also a little bit of ratchet, faux ratcheting going on. Like, there's the arms are either like this or like that, and that's a ball joint in there. It's just so tight. You, you, you got to really work with it if you want to try to half it. Head's on a ball joint, though. Um, very simple Starscream head. I was hoping for like a smirk or something. But, I mean, just the fact that we're getting this now with the character Starscream basically done in the side reverse line. Uh, one thing I definitely want to mention is that's some great ankle pivot there in the feet. And you do have some great knee bends. Again, joints are very tight. So make sure you're bending the joint, you moving the joint you want and not a secondary joint that's just, uh, you know, giving in. Uh, you can, of course, now reattach the blast effects. You know, go in like that. And then right here, underneath the intakes, are two uh, posts that you can then give them booby missiles. So, yeah. So, let's get a little pose here going. And there's Starscream, ready for battle. Really nice figure. Uh, I'm really happy with it. And like as I've said, these effects really make the figure pop. So give you a full look all around. This is a nice modern uptake of the classic Starscream design. Um, instead of the bone white, you do have that off-white. A little bit lighter than gray. But you do have the blue and red. Really nice look here for the character. Uh, I'm going to show you, as I said in the past, we're going to start doing uh, transformations back with Cyberverse figures. So, let me just, again, remove the uh, null rays and all the blast effects. Bring the figure back to a neutral position. And again, just starting off, unpeg the tail section here. Bring that forward. Then you're going to bring uh, the wing section back. There is a little tab and slot that the wings will peg into. Then you'll rotate the forearms and peg that into the, uh, the shoulder armpit section, just like so. Uh, come in the back here, unpeg the nose cone. Begin to bring up that whole cockpit section. Bring it out. Open the cockpit, fold up the head while straightening up the uh, nose cone, just like that. You're going to leave that somewhat angled. Uh, come down to the feet, fold out the uh, gray sections so they're straight, just like that. 
peg the legs together. Then come down and make sure you can uh, peg the uh, gray sections together there and there at the tip. And remember, as I mentioned before, about folding at this uh, torso joint. Now you want to do that there. Fold it up. Rotate the hips around. And now what you're going to do is make sure you give yourself a little room here with the uh, arms. Fold the legs down at the hips and then fold the knees up and around and back. And at the same time, you want to bring down this nose cone and really uh, what you want to yeah, you should do is on that. There's like a little tab section that will fit in that as you bring uh, the legs down, there's that tab section that will kind of slot in over where the nose cone is that will help work. That will help hold the uh, legs into place. Uh, let me see here. Oh, I don't think I have it properly set because I don't see the arms. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do this. Give a little wiggle jiggle. There you go. And then bring these panels back. There's tabs there right by the shoulders of the arms that will secure the legs into place. Give everything a little bit of a squeeze. Make sure all that's kind of secured. And then... Final step is going to come in the back here, bring up the feet, bring the um, the gray paneling around. And there's like a tab here, which is the tab that holds the nose cone. And there's a slot on that gray paneling. It doesn't really peg in. It sort of just like sits. But once you push everything together, you have the feet up. Feet should look like that. That orange hinge should be at like a quasi 90 degrees. Everything should be pegged in, solid, solid, kind of centered. There you go. Come back in, reattach the null rays. Again, as I said, you can do the transformation with the null, oops, null rays attached. Uh, peg them back in, just like so. And... of course come in and um, now there's a net with this blast effect there is a bit of a curve uh, so you want to have that curve facing down when t when pegging it into here in the middle which I think it'll just make things sit a little nicer and there you have Starscream back in its vehicle mode really nice deluxe figure I didn't think I was gonna like it this much but I do so let's pause and I'll be back with my final thoughts Okay, I really don't know what more I can say about Starscream. Uh, this is a great, as I said, a great figure. I think this is the best version of the Cyberverse design we're going to get. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be reused into other Seekers because they had a very different look than Starscream. But I think if you use some of the ones that were the repaints of the Warrior class, you can come up with a very interesting Seeker squadron. You do have that other warrior class star screen with like the spring up gun, the spring up null rays under its wings. We took a look at that a few months ago, but yeah, as I mentioned, I got this figure off of eBay, but as of this recording, um, it is available at Big Bad Toy Store and should and is being found at traditional brick and mortar retail. So it goes for about 20 bucks. There's no build the figure, but they are including the blast effects. So um, the price and quality is uh, still there. And again, as I mentioned, tight joints. I'm really impressed by that. Um, this rocket star scream above uh, Wave 1 figures like Megatron and Optimus that were floppy messes right out of the box. That's not to say over time uh, the figure might loosen up, but right now it's perfect. So definitely, I feel it's worth a pickup. That's about it for the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. While I always appreciate the views, your liking, commenting, and subscribing sends a message through to YouTube through their algorithms that my channel and this video should be held upon high and exalted. If you really want to help support the channel, 
I do have a Patreon. There's a link in the description below and a little card there in the corner www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999. All I ask is a dollar a month. No thrills, no tears, no special rewards. All you're doing, and literally all, in this case, it's 100% true. You're helping me, helping you, helping me to help you bring figures like this to you. Um, going forward, I'm going to be relying more on Patreon and uh, the money I make off of the views of the videos to get these figures early so if you want to see these uh you know figures somewhat early definitely uh consider supporting my channel but as always i understand times are tough watching my videos is always a welcome and a welcomed and shown gratitude way of supporting my channel I think that sort of makes sense. Either way, I mean, if you can support on Patreon, that's great. If you can just watch my videos, that's fine too. Anything you guys do for me, I appreciate so much. This is your old pal Chuck for Deluxe Class Starscream. We will see you next time.